Hello and welcome again to our Hacker Academy. So today we will discuss about how to create your own hacker laboratory. Okay, so the first one that we need, mostly I assume that most of you is using Windows or Mac. Okay, so if you're using uh, Linux already, then probably you already know this, but uh, I will focus more on the users uh, who is uh, using Windows and Mac. But uh, this is also applicable to Linux users. So you can also follow these steps. Okay. So number one steps that we need is the virtual machine. So you can just uh, Google it. Then let's Google VirtualBox. So the virtual machine that we will use in the whole session is the virtual, virtual box. Then just click this and if you're using Windows, then click Windows and it will download. But I already have it. That's why I canceled it. So after the installation, this is the Oracle VM VirtualBox, okay? So after that, uh, the next step, step number two, is you need the Kali Linux ISO. So again, all we need is to Google it, then Kali Linux then let's click this and click downloads then in here you can install it uh, by clicking it here or you can also you store it by clicking it here if you have here's the important tip here if you are having an internet that is not really stable i prefer you to use the torrent okay so to download the iso in torrent why because uh, if your internet is unstable then you use this and you downloaded it via the browser because that's what uh, will happen if you click this then if your internet is unstable, there will be times that uh, your internet will be broken or will be disconnected. Then this download of ISO will be corrupted. Some of it will, most of it uh, will be corrupted. That's why if you want to protect your ISO download, then probably uh, I recommend Torrent okay but if you have a good internet then probably uh, you can download this using a browser by clicking here okay so i already have this so let's uh, proceed to the next step let's click the virtual box okay then click new let's new okay so name your Kali Linux machine. So for those uh, who are still beginners, the Kali Linux operating system is the one that we will use to hack or to perform the hacks that uh, we will uh, teach here in this uh, session. Okay, so let's put here Kali Linux so the type okay it's linux the version uh debian 64 bit okay why debian because uh kali linux is based on debian and the iso that we downloaded is 64 bit that's why debian 64 bit then next how many mb so i am using i have 8 gigabyte ram so i think one gigabyte ram is okay 
but uh, if uh, you will use this a lot or um, more often then probably you should uh, use 2 gigabyte ram to 4 gigabyte ram then the virtual hard disk let's just create it next next in here i recommend you to use 15 and above so why 15 because uh some installation failed because it lacks storage okay so 15 and above then after creating it we're not done yet uh, click the settings then let's put in here the ISO that we have so click storage then click the disk here then add let's add this This is the Kali Linux that I downloaded. So I'll just uh, put it in here and click choose. Okay, so I already have the ISO inside. Then in the system, make sure that the boot order first is optical. So let's put it in here. So why optical? Because uh, we need to boot the ISO first the ISO is uh, in the disk in the optical okay so I think uh, the last step is the network if we want it to connect uh, back to back to other machines within the network then let's uh, put it in bridge adapter okay so so that if we are performing some uh, reverse shell attacks then it will be uh, successful okay so don't worry if you don't know how, what is a uh, reverse shell uh, i will teach you uh, those kind of uh, terminologies uh, in the next lessons so next step is clicking the start so by clicking the start let's uh, choose the ISO that we have then start then click graphic install cancel just enter it okay wait for it English since we are here in the Philippines continue Philippines so it it's installing the components from the installation media which is our ISO configuring the network so it's connecting to the network automatically because uh, we're using virtual machine but if uh, it is not a virtual machine then probably it will uh, prompt you to input the username and password of your Wi-Fi so host name uh, I will put here ninja <laughs> but uh, whatever you prefer <laughs> okay so continue domain name let's skip it just continue full name I will not use my full name here because of course we will use this for hacking <laughs> okay so i will just put sherlock holmes okay continue username for your account okay sherlock 
Then password, let's use a strong password with uh, capital letter, uh, symbol, numeric character, and lowercase character. So, make sure that they are the same. Then click continue. Detecting the disk. Partitioning the disk. Okay, so now we will be uh, performing the partitioning of the disk. So because we are using virtual machine, we will choose the use entire disk. Okay, but but if you are installing Kali Linux uh, via dual boot or via uh, by making it your primary OS, then put manual okay if uh, you have another uh, hard disk then continue 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 and write the changes to this yes and it's installing the base system in the hard disk that uh, we partition. Okay, my cat is crying. So this will be a slow installation. So you can free to skip this until it's install So while waiting for this, we can also install Kali Linux uh, via dual boot or primary OS. So what we are doing is installing Kali Linux via virtual machine. Because this is for beginners. As a beginner, if there's something wrong that uh, you installed, you uh, uninstall, and something was broke then we will not be harmed so deadly because uh, it's just a virtual machine unlike if you installed the Kali Linux in your uh, primary uh, hard disk already or a dual boot or primary OS okay 